Parental discretion is advised. Brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem, the Merry Monday Mayhem wrap up. It, we're merry tonight, isn't? Aren't we, Mad Mike? It is uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Mike Sorg here in Sorgatron Media in Pittsburgh, PA, and with me on the internet that are completely working tonight. We are, uh, of course, if you're joining us on Facebook, we're a little bit later than typical because uh, we're just having a little bit of trouble with the system. Get it booted up. It was just a little sloggy after. You know, three hours of Raw, just like the rest of us. Uh, but with us from <laughs> Beacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike, teaching, and me, I, teaching me how to spell Poughkeepsie. Yes, I, I want to point out, I'm not coming to you live from the house show in Poughkeepsie. No, you're uh, not. Uh, for a couple you, reasons. You one, made life it, decisions. It, one, it ended an hour and a half ago. Oh. Two, I... Uh, well, we'll get into it, I guess. Okay. Well, he, well, you did not see live wrestling. I helped produce a lot of live wrestling this weekend, Mike. And mm-hmm. uh, we had a lot of fun. Fight Society, I know we were talking about a lot last year, last week about how uh, it was moving to Fridays and there's a lot of new vibe and everything. And surprise, we actually went live on Facebook Live for the entire duration of the show. So a lot of people got wow. to pop in. I know we had over, over a thousand viewers during that, and it was promptly up on VOD the next day on IndieWrestling.us and the Pro Wrestling Network. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I can say we took a lot of cues. Um, you know, it's Fight Society, so you know it's very no DQ Fight Club kind of feel. Uh, we took the the ring aprons off. Uh, you know, kind of exposed it, kind of like like if you saw the Dojo Pro. Uh, kind of thing, but you know, and but you could see all the weapons. It just exposed all the weapons under the ring, basically, right? Okay. Uh, so it was a lot of fun, and and all those guys really killed it out there. A lot of surprises, um, you know, and, and it was a lot of fun to work with uh, Jim Lamana and Kenny up there, and um, and it's a, it, it just a, a great crew down there, and I think I think they might be onto something there. And then Ring Eight Wrestling Alliance got to give shout outs to a uh, friend of the show, John Roden, is the new RWA Heavyweight Champion. Uh, big night there, a crazy night, an insane tables uh, match, uh, tag team match with friends of the show, uh, Super Hentai and uh, Dennis Gregory. Yes, that bum. Um, all that he, stuff. He's a bum. Yeah. Uh, go, go find the uh, the the Giphy, um, the Giphy page uh, for IndieWrestling.us. A lot of stuff is up there. That'll be all tweeted. There's clips and everything. There's a Temptation of J Rock uh, segment that happened. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff. I saw you perk up a Temptation of J Rock. No, no, I was actually just reading the chat, and uh, Dave Podner said I'm looking very spiffy, so thank you, sir. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I was going to say, I was getting a nice haircut. I mean, you know, you know I got that. Go. I'm overdue. I have a barber next door, and I'm still yet to get a haircut. I'm trying to trying to bring back the, the look as the American Kevin Owens. You know, here's a problem I keep having here. <laughs> yes, there's that, too. Um, I mean, it, it helps. All good, I do is talk shit about the product and, you know, stun people. So. It's a good time. It's a good time to do that. Um, so I have this problem. Like, this has nothing to do with wrestling just because I remember this. Uh, uh-huh. Just because it just happened yesterday. Okay. Is I get people that come in here thinking we're the barbershop. Oh. Uh, Sorg, you know what you should do? Uh, well, the last Throwing couple the of guys. Last couple of guys were not good with English and just did the snip snip thing with their hands, and we're just like we should have just sat them down and started. Are were they Bruce or our Beefcake fans? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, so that was my fun indie indiness for the weekend. I, of course, caught up on Evolve. I was working on the other stuff and watched most of AEW. But I think that's more of a discussion we'll get into uh, tomorrow night on the show. Oh yeah, we'll we'll rank the shows. It was it was a, it was a <laughs> there was big a week. There was all yeah. It was a big week. At least three. I watched all three of them yesterday. Oh, that's a Sunday. That's a Sunday. Yeah, it sure is. And we'll also have uh, Honey Badger with us uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, oh, so good. I don't know which if any of the shows that she's watched. Uh, I'll try to message her in the morning, see if I can give a heads up. Uh, but uh, it'll be it'll be fun to find out what's going on. There. She was recently on uh, the the Shine. Uh, was it Pride and Joy show? Not Sh- Shine. Excellent. I'm sorry. Rise. Rise with an I. Pride and Joy show uh, up in I believe it was in Chicago 
a few weeks ago. I think Joe Nebraska was there also for with it. eyes. Also with eyes. Yes. <laughs> Pride with a Y. Can we do a yes? Pride and joy. Also, can we get that? It, like maybe maybe there'll be like as Rise like keeps going with the center gender. Maybe we'll just do like, a Pride with a Y show. Mark, <laughs> you know what? I got a meeting with Marcus Mann later this week. I'm going to pitch this to him. Uh, anyways, you should you should have also done that in June during Pride Month. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's next June. I mean, you know, they're not. No, going that's away. true. As if we, that's we, true. You got to plan these things early, Mike, so you can get you know in the front I door, guess, register the trademark so, yeah. of Pride with a Y. I mean, you know, whatever we need to uh, do. You might have actually thinking about it. You might have some competition from the X Men. Oh, I'm pretty sure oh. that is how Kitty Pride spells. Her name. Well, then we have we just have to uh, book Leva Bates, and we're okay. I she may be busy. Is she? This is a library, after all. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, anyways, so <laughs> uh, we we're gonna play a fun game tonight. Of should I watch mm-hmm. Raw or should I have I have been in Poughkeepsie, New York? Because we talked about it on the show yeah. a couple weeks ago about your dilemma. Say, hey, so Beacon is very close to Poughkeepsie, I presume. Are you a yep. suburb? Are you a a, a twin 20 city? Minutes. Twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. So twenty yeah. minutes away, you could have gone and watched live WWE wrestling. Instead of watching live, well yeah. instead of watching live WWE wrestling on your television <laughs> uh, that was in Long Island, New York, which is also not terribly far from you, I believe. Um, no, it's much further. Oh, it is. Okay, My, uh, it's about two hours. It's about two hours, and that's, and like, that's that's without traffic. Oof, oof. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we all presumably watched Raw tonight. So, I'm, well, we had no choice. We had no choice. No, we had a choice. I mean, we're not forced to watch so Raw. Journalistic integrity. Well, we okay, no yes, choice. we kind of do it to ourselves. Yes. Yeah. But anyways, so uh, you you wanted to go about this a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, first, uh, let me let me tell you the the advertised. I want to stress this advertised card for Poughkeepsie because we had several several different advertisements. For the Poughkeepsie show, um, mm-hmm. one of them uh, said uh, Kofi Kingston, WWE champion, versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, if you saw Raw tonight, hmm. that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, an- We're presuming one. nobody took the venture from Poughkeepsie to to Long Island or vice versa tonight. No, you can't. It's no. it's not like it's not like going from the Manhattan to the Barclays Center. No. Like that's an Uber ride. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, there is uh, there there is Uber helicopter in New York City now. Oh, I mean, I, I've taken an Uber down to the city. Mm-hmm. Would never want to do that again. Mm-hmm. It was very expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, so another advertised Matt Sorg, uh, and this was advertised on every different ad that I saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roman Reigns mm-hmm. versus mm-hmm. Uh, the man whose wife is from Poughkeepsie, Randy Orton. <laughs> if you saw Raw. Um, they kind of got that. N- needless to say, that match did not happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so another one. A triple threat. Okay. Kofi Kingston. Uh-huh. Versus Kevin Owens. This is a different commercial that advertises, right? Yep, this yeah. is a different commercial. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Guess what, Sorg? No, no. None of that happened. No, not, not, no. okay. None of it happened. Okay. Oh, also advertised on every commercial... The New Day. The, the, I, I, guess, I guess Poughkeepsie got the meatloaf version. Okay. Because two out of three ain't bad. Oh. Oh, no. Get it? Get it? Because Big E was on Raw. Yes. yes. Big E was on Raw. And for no reason. <laughs> hey, he's uh, one no, of the top for, ten for, in the for, WWE cross-promotional for, Super Ocean Dig Battle Royal. For zero reason. Okay. For zero reason. Um, so, Sorg, do, do you want to hear wh- who was on the show? Well, uh, presumably Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. I, I um, think we've narrowed right, well, down. I'm going to tell you that someone at this house show mm-hmm. pulled double duty. Oh, no. Uh-huh. At the house I'm, go- sh- I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. It was a group of two individuals. I will let you guess. Mm, was it Daniel Bryan and Rowan? Oh, no, they weren't even there. Oh, what? Why? I don't know. 
That seems ridiculous. No, they're the but champions. That's a very good, that's a, no, they're not they're the not, champions. No, they're not the yeah. champions anymore. Which again, guess what? Guess what? Poughkeepsie didn't get a tag team title match. Ooh. That's why I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Big E was on Raw. So was it for no reason? So the double duty was that heavy mm-hmm. machinery? Well, you're getting closer. I'm getting closer. Going getting down closer. the food. I, I'll chain. give you another hint. I mm. will give you another hint. Mm. These people have not been. Oh God, Tina! If it was the Iconics, B Team, Tina! If it was the Iconics, my ass would have been there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone in my. Tardis what about the B Team? Back in t- was it the B Team? Uh, not even the entire B Team was there. Sorg, only Bo Dallas was. Oh jeez. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. But Bo Dallas teamed with the men who had double duty. I'm running out of teams on SmackDown in my head. Yeah, I know. That's because they haven't been on TV in months. Okay. They haven't. Do, Who is you it? Want me to just tell you? Who is it? Authors of Pain. Who? That's what? right. Poughkeepsie got a hot, hot two Authors of Pain matches in a row, mind you. Oh, wow. Yeah. In a row. In a row. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run down this card. There's... There's legit two matches on here that I'd want to see. Mm-hmm. Legit two matches. First one, Aleister Black versus Andrade. Okay. Oh, Bennett. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, we've seen it. We've seen it. I've seen to, it. I'll before. watch it again in person at a house show because it's going to be fun. <sighs> yeah. Um, Matt Hardy, Apollo Crews, and Chad Gable against Bo Dallas and the Authors of Pain. Yeah. Matt Hardy, hot, hot off of the um, the uh, 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 Periscope uh, watch party for the pay-per-view the night before. Mm-hmm. By the way, uh, WWE watch party mm-hmm. is one of the legit best things they do. Really? It's, so yes. I haven't watched it because I actually had my own watch party here. So. Sorg, Sorg, I, I've just like I've just been turning it on at night. <laughs> what? Yeah, w- without without the pay-per-view. <laughs> It's great. It just, it's all. It's just it's the all thing the that puts me to I sleep want at to night. see on the show. Oh boy! It's all the people I want to see on the show, and none of them are scripted because everyone's paying attention to the actual show. Mm-hmm. The only thing that sucks is that there's a lot of Sam Roberts. <laughs> but can we talk about Sam I, Roberts? Just doesn't no, love like no, love. Let's, let's not talk about Sam Roberts. Jeez. The only thing that's great about it is that Billy and Peyton always give him shit because good. they don't like him. Oh, good. And, Pretty much everyone gives him shit. It's oh, great. Good. Like, I think on the Extreme Rules watch party, someone hits him with a kendo stick. Oh, somebody, <laughs> we were we were hitting each other with a kendo stick at this watch party, too. Excellent. All right. So, the third match, Heavy Machinery and the Authors of Pain. <laughs> okay. Now, keep in mind. Yes. Um. All the faces won. Okay. All the faces Yeah, it's a house won. show. Yeah, I've seen house shows where the heels win. Okay. <laughs> um, then this match I really want to see. SmackDown Women's Title, Bailey versus Ember versus Liv versus Mandy. Mm. That sounds really fun. That could have been fun, yeah. Yeah, and they're probably and better than the four way we got tonight. I saw like a gif of the finish. It looked really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely better than the four way tonight. Jesus, we'll get into that. Um, but then. Uh, Elias and Xavier Woods sang a song together. Oh. And then they had a match. And oh. Woods won. And then okay. after the match, Kevin Owens showed up just to stun Elias. And then left. <laughs> okay. Acceptable. Yep. Ke- Kevin acceptable. Owens does not come back. No. Because now that he's a face, there's no one for him to fight. Mm-hmm. Because all those people are on Raw. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, they also at one point advertised Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. <gasps> Guess what else didn't happen? <laughs> yeah. So, after the Kevin Owens thing, there was intermission. Then Ali wrestled Buddy Murphy. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, I want to see that. That sounds good. Then uh, Asuka wrestled Billy Kay. So, not even a tag team match of the Iconics. Were the other ones there? Yeah, Kyrie and Peyton were there. Oh, they just okay. Yeah, it was very weird. I, I was like looking through Instagram today, and <laughs> Billy and Peyton were driving over one of the bridges near my house. I'm like, oh, that's odd. 
<laughs> that's peculiar. That's very. Uh, didn't expect to see the Bear Mountain Bridge, but all right, here we go. And uh, the main event, Sword. Can you guess what the main event is? I'll give you one hint. Kofi Kingston is in it. Is it the rest of the New Day versus? Mm. Well, there. Well, Xavier has already worked, so there is no rest of the Wait, who, New Day. Where, what did Xavier do? He he wrestled Elias. Oh, he had Elias a- after they sang. So they actually had a match. Um, uh, who was who's left on SmackDown? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kofi Kingston would defend the title against somebody of significant importance on oh, SmackDown yeah. that didn't oh, also so. happen to be on Raw. Yep. That do 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 do. I I'm, I got nothing. Sorg, how do you forget the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura? Because, because everyone else has. Because I don't understand. I am so confused because everybody's everywhere and yep. there's just too many bodies. The, the the rules are the points are made up and the rules don't matter. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, uh, that was that was that was the Poughkeepsie House show. That I mean I. Mm, yeah. I don't know if I'd be mad. I mean, it's not. It, 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 I'd be mad. I mean, because there were seven stars advertised for the show mm-hmm. that were not there. Hmm. Hmm. I saw someone write a very angry email. I would. I mean, here's the problem is you, you have the advertisements and yes, card subject to change. But if you're like, Hey son, Roman Reigns coming to my town. Oh, let's mm-hmm. go here. It says it's going to be advertised. They wouldn't do that. And you know, you put your money in and it's a school night. Well, I guess it's not a school in session, but like that's, that's just not, Cool. Yeah, no, it's not yeah. because I like I was looking at because I wanted to see what was going on in the house show, and I kept searching for the for the trend WWE Poughkeepsie. Yeah, and I saw a lot of people say, "Oh, my first show, we were looking forward to seeing Roman Reigns. My first show, we were looking forward to seeing Randy Orton." Like someone posting like angry emails, like I don't like the wild card rule. I get card subject to change, but you literally changed the entire roster. Yeah, because like. No offense to that crew. That's the C team. That's mm-hmm. the C team. Like, mm-hmm. if you're going to do that, you should at least sprinkle in some NXT people. Like, some NXT people, or even have some have some cruiserweight instance, matches. Uh, this one, that, have, this one like, this, uh, tweeting at WWE, will Roman Reigns and Bailey still be appearing at Poughkeepsie? As of this writing, they are both still advertised for them, and the main reason I purchased tickets. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah well, exactly. Bailey, Bailey did a signing on Long Island earlier Good. today, and so, they, so a lot of people thought were pissed that Bailey wasn't going to be there. And uh, and uh, where's Union Dale, New York? Long Island. That's in Long Island, okay? Because there was pictures where this was in response to a signing for Connor's Cure uh, yeah. with Roman and Bailey both there. Uh, mm-hmm. So. I mean, you know, definitely that's earlier in the day, Bailey. Interesting. Uh, it's a logistics problem. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not the first time they've had to deal with something like this. But it's kind of. No, but like what, when they've done this before, they've canceled the house shows. Yeah, I wonder like there's not enough of the house show to to do this. I think I think no, because the thing is, Poughkeepsie probably sold out. Wow, because it's probably been... sold out because a it's a small arena, mm-hmm. and Poughkeepsie this... is a wrestling town. Like it really is. This is the they arena. Don't, they... This is the arena where they used to do early Raws at, correct? Yeah. Okay. Same place. Like, it's called something different now, but it's the same place where the Macho Man debuted. Mm-hmm. Like, legit Macho Man debuted in this building. Mm-hmm. Like, it's got wrestling history. It's where the first Piper's Pit was done. Like, there are wrestling fans in Poughkeepsie, and a lot of them are not pleased. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well... Uh, knowing that, would you still rather have been there versus what you saw on Raw tonight? Um, Raw was definitely cheaper. It was, <laughs> it was a thing that happened. Um, Raw was definitely cheaper. Well, let's let's talk about the first thing that we have been suspecting um, for for weeks now, and it seemed to have like seemed to have cooled off for it to like, pop out of nowhere. We did get Bray Wyatt returning in the ring. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. it. I like it. Now, on paper, I'm, I'm of course, scared. what's that? I'm still scared. You're still scared? still scared? You better be. He's a scary guy. No, I'm. You know damn well what I mean. 
<laughs> yes, Tina, the Mid Hudson Civic Center. They call it something different now, though. But I'm still scared as to how they use him because it's one thing if he does a random one off and show up in the creepy mask and take out Finn Balor. Mm-hmm. But it's quite another for him to have a match. Mm-hmm. Like, is that lighting effect going to be going on during the match? Oh, I doubt it. No. So you're I saying. Prefer so you, I prefer it, to so be you, honest. Okay. I'd, it'd be something different. So, so, so what if. What if all of Bray's matches, you know, much akin to Raven's Rules matches, are now Firefly Funhouse matches, which are generally hardcore? You find crazy shit under the ring, um, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe, you know, a devil Vince McMahon drags you underneath uh, to hell under the ring and Hornswoggle. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, you know, maybe, maybe that, it, like, would that be suitable to you, you think? And how long could that last? Exactly. See, that's the thing. I don't know what they do with Bray Wyatt that has any kind of staying power. Because here's the thing. I have a feeling, and this is this is a guess of mine, uh-huh. he's going to show up next week in the in the Bray Firefly Funhouse outfit uh-huh. and completely not know what Finn Balor is talking about. Maybe. 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 Um, Tina is asking, is this redeeming from what was supposed to be the Abigail versus the demon match? God, I, I feel like, I feel like we've lucked out, but and... see, here's the thing. Now, if you do that, mm-hmm. Bray has to win and he has to beat the demon. I would hope with this new character, he has to be, yeah. because, because if the first feud you put Bray in mm-hmm. and he loses the match at pay-per-view, this was entirely for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because the the biggest problem with Bray is it's always been the problem with Bray. Yeah. He never wins feuds. Speaking of uh, big guys that are completely getting big showed right now, Drew McIntyre loses to Cedric Alexander. I'm fine with it. You're fine I'm, with it? I'm tired of Drew. You're tired of I'm Drew. Okay. Tired of Drew. Drew needed to be refreshed in the yeah. most in the biggest way possible. Because he's been a, a lackey for Shane, and so, since Shane is not going to take a pin from yeah. anyone that isn't the Undertaker, yeah. Drew has been getting murked every single week. So, so if you're not going to build Drew, let him go to the mid card. So, so we drop him down. He hits rock bottom, and he he maybe gets fed up and turns into a monster, or he just goes back to NXT where he should have. <laughs> never left. Or in I'm, my... I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. He should not have left NXT. Mm-hmm. Like a Drew McIntyre versus Johnny Gargano feud or Drew McIntyre versus Adam Cole, that's what I would have been in for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it is mentioned that uh, and maybe this was him being written off or Miller just do it in, in a couple weeks here leading up to SummerSlam or something, but Finn is about to get married and taking some time off. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's probably the reason, but, but yeah, I, I guess. I mean... I still, I'm, I'm still scared of what they're gonna do with Bray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, uh, tonight uh, and again, uh, you know, like as you know, I'm about the moments, and tonight it was just like, a, ooh, that's interesting. Like, um, I mean, that, that's kind of how, that's kind of how I'm gauging Raw tonight is how many times in the night it goes, it goes, it makes me go, ooh, okay, um, you know. Yeah, but how many times I. This is a legitimate question because I don't know what specifically you're referring to. Mm-hmm. How many times did you go, ooh, that's interesting, mm-hmm. and then have the South Park meme and it's gone? <laughs> no, not so much. Not so much. I'm okay, because gonna... I had that a lot. Uh huh. Um, Especially during that Battle Royal. I think I... it's the safest option, but it's also the least fun. Right. Oh. Oh. Absolutely. It was just like, hey, can we at least like pretend Big Big uh, Big E had a because chance at this thing? Ronald isn't gonna win. Mm-mm. Ronald isn't gonna win. I am, like not I, now. I'm not gonna speculate about what's gonna happen there uh, entirely because yeah. I don't know what the plans are for Brock, but um, he could come back around. Who knows? So. Mm. So yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you know, well, he'll. I mean, yeah, ideally, you know, Rock will probably last through Mania unless they got something very special coming up in the next six well, months. No, he could lose it on the first on the first Fox. That could he be could. good. Yeah, he could. he could. That could be fun. Um, or like the night before, the like the the Raw before, or 
Oh, actually, you know what? They're going back to the garden. Mm-hmm. Brock losing the title in the garden mm-hmm. does sound like a thing they do. To um, make it a- I always get miffed when we do get um, jobbers. I know we're like building up guys like the Viking experience, but uh, you know, using jobbers like that versus like using your vast, vast roster and, of talent. And they've done it. Like the Viking Raiders have had four jobber squash matches. That's usually the number. You, yeah, like, usually you do squashes for a month to get people familiar with you, and then Sorg, they've been they the Viking Raiders have been on Raw since April. <laughs> have they? Yeah, wow. since April. And they've done nothing like the like they should be in something like that killer three way tag match that we had on the pay per view last night. They should be. First of all, they shouldn't be heels. No, it's too obvious. They're too likable. You know. Uh, uh, somebody didn't get the memo on the. If, on if the... you're gonna do, if you're gonna make them heels, at least align them with a current heel, Sarah Logan. Mm-hmm. Like she's already doing the Viking gimmick. She's doing the same gimmick. Yeah. If, like you're not bringing the Riot Squad back. Ruby's injured. Lives on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Theoretically. <laughs> theoretically, because she has not been on TV yet. Mm-hmm. But Sarah Logan with the Viking Raiders. We had a lot of relationship related stuff tonight, Mike. Oh boy, did we. I did <laughs> I didn't There was one bit of it I liked, the rest of it was just like Ooh, what'd oh. you like? What'd you like? Um, the Drake Maverick stuff. Yeah. Because I it doesn't matter what you Drake, give that man, Drake. he will turn it into gold. Yes. And avoid the idea that we have a live camera that we're watching while Drake is about Sorg, to quote consummate Sorg. his marriage. Or hashtag live sex celebration. Right? I all, know, we right? We all knew what was going on. Did you ever think you'd be excited to see a, a Hornswoggle live sex ho- celebration? I mean, I mean, depends on how many beers I've had. But okay, you know. sure. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> speculation. Reading the sheets, if you are to believe them, is that the 24-7 title was USA's idea. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah. It's like they pulled something off the shelf from 1999 and said, do more of this. No, but but they pulled it off the shelf without the most important part of that. Mm. The hardcore part. Ah, well. No, that what, Sorg? This has just been running in roll-ups. It just the more, title. It, yeah, it is, and it's less it's headshots. Running, it's, you don't have to have headshots to do a hardcore division. No, you don't, but they tend to. We just had a whole extreme rules <laughs> Tina, match last night. Tina no says, head- so so kind of glad that I didn't watch Raw. Let me tell you what you did get tonight. You got, again, uh, 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 Cedric and Drew. Was Which interesting. Was yeah, uh, you got the club being the club. Another You got another god damn two out of three fall six-man tag team match. You did. You did. Then you got a six-man tag team. Same thing as last week. Except you replace Miz and Elias with Ricochet and fucking Robert, don't call me Bobbert Rude. <laughs> no, did you notice? His mustache is gone. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good? I like the mustache. You like the mustache? I liked it. It was I something. I want him to be Bobby Roode, but important. Then he should I go want, back to NXT. I want the Bobby Roode <laughs> that said, it, I'm going to raise the level of this promotion. Of NXT. That's what he said. Yes. That's why he should go back yes. to NXT. But I'm going to just be stepped up. Well, um, Okay, relationship two. Uh, we did got Dolph picking a fight with Miz. Can golf go? Can golf just go away? Just go back to being a bad comedian. Oh, please. Oh. Go, go, go! Sell your fake uh, ta- brother tag team go to uh, Fox T-shirts News. on Pro Wrestling Tees. Just go Fox News. Tyrus is about to get fired. There's probably going to be an opening there. Oh, oh. I, I, I don't hate Dolph. I just hate what's happening with him. No, I hate Dolph. <laughs> You're just like Dolph himself is the problem. No, I. The character of Dolph Ziggler. Right. Mike Nemeth the, is not the problem. Yeah, Dolph, no, no. Dolph Ziggler the is the problem. The character of Dolph Ziggler. Ever since he is, introduced himself all those years is ago. Is the lousiest, most inconsistent character yes. WWE has 
ever written. Beautiful. And that is that is saying a lot. Yep. Yep. I that mean, is saying a lot. I mean, come on. We did have Cain went from burning his house. I love down we both just referenced Cain. Son, we both referenced Cain at exactly the same time. To, to dating a cheerleader. That's how his history was retconned, and it's still Redcon. more consistent than the Dolph Ziggler character. Get... And this is someone who was in the building when Dolph cashed in his money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, Dolph should have retired that night. He should have retired that night because that's when he started getting concussions, and that's when everything went downhill. And he has uh, never grows to that peak again. I want a wrestling promotion purely written by comic book writers. It was Lucha Underground. Was it? No. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I got that, you was, second, that was wrestling bookers and TV oh, just, just read, um, writers. Headlocked. Yeah, yeah, Headlocked is that too. <laughs> or um oh what was, what's the one that we've been getting those copies of um oh i oh i like them i, I was yeah I they were good too i can't remember the name uh hold on i want to find it international wrestling something something uh it's oh we're thinking of different ones oh no the one where it's the like intergalactic wrestling and they, they oh they, we're they, put a, they put a big ones. steel cage around the earth and and promise to do a battle royal Okay, yeah, we're thinking of very different oh, books. That's the ones I've been getting in our email, which you can email at uh, uh, goodtimes at wrestlingmanshow.com. We don't usually have, do that. I've not, I have not seen that. Oh, man, I think, I think you... I'm going to find it. I swear I'm going to find it so I can give them a proper plug. But that will be for later, apparently, because it's not coming up. Anyways, um, WrestleTopia, Invasion from WrestleTopia. Huh. I believe it's the okay, title. Okay, the one I'm thinking of is Ringside, made oh, by Enrique. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, I promised I wanted to keep this short, Mike, and we should go with that. Uh, 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 relationship number three. Which which one you want to go with? <laughs> what which one you want to go oh, with? Oh, I was going with the the Canellis's or the Canelli. Yep. Canelli. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Canelli. <laughs> Isn't that the, the plural of Canellus? Is Canella? It, it is now. <laughs> it so also, so it also sounds like her Maria Canella because she's got a baby. It also sounds like um something you should get checked out by your doctor. No, it sounds like something that's on a VE table at a wedding. Yeah, you got cookies, you got your brownies, and you got canella. <laughs> we call that a cookie table in Pittsburgh, Mike. Yeah, we call we call that Viennese table in New York. So like, <laughs> what does that even can you, mean? What can you it? tell? I've been looking at wedding venues, everyone. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But um, oh man, you know I'm all for Zack Ryder getting a win in Long Island because God knows he needs one. Mm -hmm. But <sighs> it, 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 I don't I don't even get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I liked what they were doing initially. We're, I have well, no idea what they're doing We're just continuing now. to demasculate Mike Canellis. Uh huh. I I, I believe Canelli <laughs> of the Canelli House. <laughs> um, <laughs> of House Canelli. House Canelli. House Canelli. Oh shit! This gets where we with... hold up four, even though there's two of us for some reason. <laughs> what? No, they're they're taught is they hold up fours like this. I'm like, I mean. That was in the kingdom when there was four of you, mm -hmm. but I mean, unless you're counting the two of you, hey kids, the one kid, uh, the one kid in the back, and the one kid in the belly, which wasn't even there until a couple weeks ago. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I'm just saying, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't understand. I don't. I can't tell you that I understand gestation period of a human being, but I don't know if that's how that works. It's typically nine months. Well, yes, I know that part, but I just, you know, the, <laughs> the, sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll help him with the basics. Sorry. Okay, all right, Mike. Tell me about the birds and the bees. No, let's not. Um, no, let's that's not for that. that's for Patreon. We have, that's we for... have children in here. Yes, presumably. I don't know. Tina's in there, so maybe Junior's. It's listening. well past bedtime. Sorry, Junior. On, it's well past bedtime, even on the West Coast, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I don't. I, I'm not... I don't know. I had a late bedtime. I don't know about you. <laughs> 
I got I, to, I got to watch Letterman's top ten when I was a kid. Oh. So who knows? Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, I, <laughs> I, got a lot of, I got a lot of Carson monologue growing up. Oh yeah, oh, mm. well, I would watch the Carson monologue, then I go to Letterman top ten. Sorry, mm. I was a very, very cultured man. Mm. Very okay. cultured young man, Mike. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's when. But uh, we should also we should also talk about the other relationship. Uh, what Rollins and Becky? Yeah, Is... yeah, yeah. Did you not catch what they were doing? Um, I it... do believe she was taking some jabs at him in the uh, promo. Am I? Am I? Well, no. Uh, Rollins said he didn't know if Becky was going to show up. Oh. And then Natty said that Becky was shitty in bed, which, I mean. She does a lot of CrossFit. I can't imagine that's true. <laughs> Just saying. Quite okay. Accurate. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that... You know, not ne- not necessarily Ricochet and Casey Catanzaro, but you know, probably pretty close. Okay. The uh... did you know they were dating? No. You do now, and think I about that now. for a second. Can I also talk about how uh, I think King Ricochet is going to be the uh, fourth member of Lucha House Party? Oh no, Sword! He, don't you dare wish that on him. He is something of a king of lucha. No, don't you dare With wish his, that on and him. He, and he also is very cat-like, and they already have Sword, a cat. It's anything, like he's, he's one of them already. Sorg, if anything, he's going to be the third or, host. Though. Or maybe he's been Lince Dorado the whole time. I don't know. He definitely hasn't been Lince Dorado the whole time. <laughs> sure, yes. No, because Lince Dorado is a cat, not a puma. Get it? Ah, <laughs> Lucha Underground jokes. Ding. <laughs> Mike, that's enough. We got to get off on a high note here. I don't know how we end the show. <laughs> um,. Sorg, what, what what was your positive thing from Raw? That's how he's supposed to start it. Yeah, I know. Oh, Bray you Wyatt. Anything. Bray okay. Wyatt all the way. That was my moment of the night. Okay. That was okay. moment in my night of uh, of the night and and uh, suggested nudity. Okay. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at right now. Suggest nudity. Okay. Suge- suggested nudity. Well, hashtag live sex celebration. Lots of demasculate Damasc- disc mask. Dismasculinity, demasculation. That's the word. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? We should have a um, a uh, Drake Maverick versus Mike Kanellis match. Demask versus demask match. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it's just and just the wives are just outside holding. Their oh ball. my god! Oh, holding the, holding their balls. No, um, it'd be great if if like <laughs> if Drake and Mike have like a. 15 minute Matt classic that goes to a time limit draw <laughs> and both the wives are like neither of you won we're both leaving you and they walk off together hand in hand for each other or we just have a time and they limit. raise the ch- they raise the child together like the end of fucking planet terror or or in <laughs> alternate or in alternate universe number two uh Mike Kanellis has a Tommy Dreamer moment and just says I'll take them both and they'll be like, no, you won't. <laughs> Swerve. <laughs> Tina Tina had a good weekend of wrestling, and she avoided the Raw because she was recovering from 3-2-1 battle. Uh, it's her positive in wrestling. Sue Young is a fucking beast, True. and uh, it was a treat to see Colt Cabana and David Starr. Jeez, David Starr in one of my favorite matches I've ever produced. Wow, hold on. Coca Ben and David Starr, did they have a tag team name? Because oh. I have a lot of different options. Oh, wow. Head. That is a very, um, yeah. Were, were they the Jusos? Oh, they would. <laughs> they would, right? <laughs> they would totally do it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to think of. I don't. Oh, God. <laughs> The Meshuggah Prophets? Oh. Like, uh, uh, I don't know man. enough to know what's offensive and not at this point. but No, it's it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's fine. Uh, 40-year warning? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did I hear somebody say 40 years? Mike, I'm waving my dongle at you. 
<laughs> yeah, I should I should have stopped at the at the Jusos. Well, that, I... that was the peak. That was the peak joke. Mike, it's been fun. We've talked for another 40 damn minutes about professionalized wrestling, and we're doing that again tomorrow again. Honey Badger, who's fresh off of Rise with an eye on iPay-Per-View a couple weeks ago, uh, will be joining us here in the studio. We'll be catching up with her and catching up. Uh, she's going to be in a tag match with, uh, I think she's teaming with Lee Moriarty uh, this uh, weekend uh, at uh, Rise with a Y uh, as uh, her, her usual Honey Bear team, uh, Keith Hot was here a couple weeks ago um will be um um in the title match against the reaper matt connard lots uh, happening i hope i hope i hope matt connard didn't watch our show because he would know exactly how to get under keith hot skin just mentioned spider-man 3 oh yeah no you're thinking troy lords oh no and troy lords was just no, we thought we talked about spider-man 3 with both of them and if you would seen the clip from uh, Fight Society Friday, Troy Lords was just uh, dealt with by being punched in the face a lot. Mm. There's a lot okay. of face punching. A lot that's, of face punching. That's, that is also effective. Yes. And uh, Dave, you may have been in and out of Raw, but Drake sure wasn't. Hi-yo! Hi-yo! Because oh. he, he asked if, he, if Drake did, so I thought I'd give a snark. You know. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. Also, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Uh-huh. And, of course, everything going on. Please go <laughs> check out. Um, please please uh, uh, pop over to the Indie Wrestling US Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. There is a lot. A lot, a lot, a Just lot wait. of stuff. Just oh, no, wait. I went too far. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. I'm back. Sorry about the music there, guys. Uh, there was a lot this weekend between Fight Society and the RWA. A lot of clips plus Prospect Pro Wrestling has been released over there as well. So please go check all of that stuff out. We, see, we will see you guys Tuesday night live on Facebook at 9 p.m. Eastern Time for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Until next time, Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast.